Secretary of State is our lead diplomat. They have to have iron will. A vision for the future. The most important thing is being able to put yourself into somebody else's shoes. And nobody does that better than Secretary Clinton. She was the most dogged, determined Secretary of State I think I've ever seen. The fact that she was willing to work for a former rival uh, President Obama. A rivalry that is one of the richest in American history. Working for the man with whom she once traded blows. That restored my faith in the political process. The world was in great trouble at the time that uh, Secretary Clinton came into office because our reputation was so bad. Through sheer work, she was able to reverse that. She was able to restore the credibility of the United States. The cover is Hillary Clinton and the rise of smart power. If you use the soft power of diplomacy with the hard power of the threat of the use of force and sanctions, that is smart power. And there was nobody better at wielding it than Secretary Clinton. Hillary Clinton's commitment to advancing the welfare of women and girls around the world is now entrenched at the State Department. Hillary Clinton understood in her heart how important it was for girls to get an opportunity, but she also understood in her head that if we want to build peaceful, economically prosperous nations, then we have to educate girls. The resolution we pass today represents a step forward in our global efforts to end violence perpetrated against women and children in conflict zones. She was determined to see that women take their place as economic partners in their community and take their place as political leaders in their community. America, Israel, and the entire international community must prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. They have been on a super highway to create a nuclear weapon. Her ability to pull together all of the nations on the sanctions on Iran was a remarkable effort. She played a critical role in getting particularly the Russians and the Chinese on board. A 12-2 Security Council in vote to impose new sanctions against Iran is being touted here at the White House as the biggest diplomatic achievement. We're talking about 27 nations in the EU, a number of other global nations, and it paid off. Intensifying missile attacks are pounding the Gaza Strip part of an escalating conflict that has the world holding its breath, fearing a new war in the Middle East could erupt at any moment. Hillary Clinton has arrived in Ramallah to try to cement a ceasefire. Back from the brink tonight, Israeli and Palestinian leaders agreeing to a truce, a welcome development for Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who arrived and helped broker that peace deal. The United States welcomes the agreement today for a ceasefire in Gaza. Gay rights are human rights, and human rights are gay rights. Secretary Clinton aggressively engaged with all the countries that move toward anti-homosexual legislation. This is a real step forward, um, the strongest defense ever in terms of gay rights. We were able to transform the way countries perceive and react to homosexuality in their country. Hillary Clinton arrived in Tokyo on Monday night. It fell to Secretary Clinton to build anew the relationship with Japan, with Australia, with South Korea, through her engagement with so many leaders, but also the caliber of her intellect. She was a shaper of conversations, and that's going to be remembered for many, many long years to come as a diplomatic breakthrough for the US. AIDS has killed 30 million people around the world and 34 million are living with HIV today. During Secretary Clinton's period, we extended antiretroviral therapy to 78 countries, saving millions of women, children, and men from 100% death. Our efforts have helped set the stage for a historic opportunity to usher in an AIDS-free generation. I think Hillary will go down as one of the finest Secretary of States we've had. People would look at the election of a President Clinton and say, I know that I'm going to get someone who understands our part of the world and will help us shape the best future. As a former SEAL, as a veteran, I'm confident knowing that Hillary as Commander-in-Chief will have a sense for the gravity of her decisions at that level. She is the one person 
You can bring a tremendous amount of experience to the job of being a world leader. I don't think I have ever met a person more prepared to be president, and she would be capable of making hard decisions and representing this country and our democracy.